One day I feel so happy, wow. next day I feel so sad. Record contract. Man, it's hard to believe. I know it's only a local commercial, but I plan on going national. And a, a, a thousand dollars for a few hours' work? Rolls Royces, thousand dollar bills, and a different honey for every night of the week. Absolutely not. Get yourself another boy. Oh, come on, Ken. This wasn't part of the deal you promised me. Uh, we're Shower Power, an up-and-coming new group, and uh, we got something for you. Is she over 18? Yeah, but he told us that... What he told you was a con. I still got some of the cash on me. Don't worry, Nikki, I got you covered. Yeah, get in the front. Act like a host, will you? Integrate. Here's, uh, here's 20 bucks. Fill up the Motel California on me. Oh, big spender now. That's right. When you got found money, you got to spend it. You know, wine, women. More women. <laughs> we go to Vegas, but this car won't make it. Hey, this car will make it anywhere, Jack. Thanks a lot. Not a word about this to the guys, right? My lips are zipping. All right, let's get out of here. You can't believe it. I want to Why, you got a headache? Oh, I'm on a scavenger hunt, Coolidge. What do you want? Hey, I need some ace bandage. Can you help me? Oh, I think so. What for? I got a sprain. Sprain? Yeah. Well, it's not that serious. Well, you see, Coach Coolidge, he has a trick brain, see, and every now and then it pops out on it. Hey, well, you ain't exactly playing with a 452, Wardell. Who you call that crazy, hey, brother? Hey, hey, you hold on, hold on. Remember me? I'm the one with the headache. Here's your bandage. All right, on. Now, what do you want, Stone? Nothing. All right, then get the clown out of here. Let's go. Yeah? All right. Coaching his animal trainer. Uh, Ken Reeves? Uh, yeah, you don't happen to have an aspirin, do you? My head's about to explode. Uh, matter of fact? You're kidding. I think the smog does it. I always carry them when there's a first stage alert. You know, that's every day. What do you do in the bad days? Carry a gas mask? Uh-huh. I didn't get your name. Uh, Robbie Maine, Mr. Reeves. Uh, well, just call me Ken to Mr. Sounds ancient. I'm an old fan of yours from the Chicago Bulls days. I grew up in Chicago. 
You mean you're a young fan with a good memory. I didn't play that much in Chicago. Chicago Stadium was a second home for me. The Bulls and the Blackhawks got me through the winter. Huh. Sorry about the knee. Yeah, me too. So you saw me during my playing days, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, especially the night DeBusher scored 20 points on you in one quarter. Uh, you know, I'd love to just stand around and talk about the weather in my career, but the uh, fact is I got basketball practice. Well, this will just take a minute. That's what you got. I've got a business proposition that uh, you just might be interested in. Hey, glad we can make it. Hey, did the bocce ball tournament run late? More hot merchandise salami? Nah, it was a gift from the bank. Hey, Salon, come on. A bank? You robbed the bank? No, no, no. When you open up an account at Pacific National, they give you a toaster oven. Hey, Salon, can it, all right, please? I mean, I, I wanted a blender, you know, but Nicky, he likes his tuna melt, so... <laughs> <laughs> Touch the merchandise. Oh, I need smoke it. What is it? Oh, where did you get the money? We won it at the racetrack. My buddy here has got a system that cannot miss. Everybody's got a system. Yeah, well, mine just happens to work. Yeah, well, just when is it due to hit again? Wouldn't you like to know? I don't believe any of this. Where's the coin? Yeah, check this out. What's that? My passbook, swine. You got exam answers in there, huh? No, stupid. This is my deposit. Read it and weep. Hey, well, can you let me borrow fifty dollars? Hey, what do I look like, Santa Claus to you? Yeah, so big deal. You got a few bucks. So what are we gonna do? Buy a condominium? Hey, we ought to be able to get a truckload with all that money, Thorpey. Hey, wait, wait, wait. wait what is this we business? Us. We. we us. <laughs> BAM Records is looking for the new sound of the 80s. So what? It's a contest. Listen to this. Open auditions, 10 to 6 p.m. A recording contract could be yours. Big deal. This is our big chance, man. If we sound good in the showers, we'll be dynamite in the studios. What do we got to lose? What have we got to lose? <laughs> Coach? No, college. Looked like the IRS to me. Are you in trouble with the government, Coach? Coach ain't making enough money for the feds to care. Oh, I resent that, Thorpe. It may be true, but I resent it. I got a major league headache today. Uh, ain't that supposed to be her line, Coach? I'll ignore that. That means we're gonna cut practice very short. All right. <laughs> Feeling stress, tension? How do you spell relief? Coach Reeves spells it L-A-P-S. You mean you're gonna be running laps, Coach? All right, but it's gonna be kind of tough with a headache. No, no, you are stolen lots of them. Let's go. Nobody else? Come on, come on. What? Oh, great, Thorpe. Hurry, hurry up, salami. Let's go. In New York, come on. Right. Oh, wow. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, the name's Thorpe. We're here for the contest. Have a seat, and Mr. Price will be with you shortly. Thank you. <coughs> a cool it's More is. Where these people? Look at crazy people. No, so you better tell your sister to go. Black Brazil. Cool song, homegirls. Yeah, keep your family out of this, huh? This is wild, man. I know. Munchkin, though. Hey, hey, check out, check out, uh, Paul and Ringo. Hey, maybe not. You were terrific, and I really mean that. I'll be in touch. I can get behind that. Who's next? We gotta wait for all these bobos or what? Uh, hold on. Let me take care of this. Uh, Mr. Price. More stops the name. Uh, listen, I don't mean to be pushy, but we do have a gig tonight. Uh-huh. So? Well, we're running a little late. I thought maybe we You'd could... You'd like to, uh, audition now? Right. You and the rest of the world. Sit down. I got him in the palm of my hand. <laughs> So as you can see, we're a growing company. Yeah, I can see that. I've already got six Robbies in the Valley, and I'm planning on opening four more. No, that's great. I, but I, I, I just need one more ingredient to put yeah. me over the top. Uh, Robbie, I got to tell you, I'm flattered, really. I am, but I just don't see it. I'm a high school basketball coach. Who used to play pro ball for my favorite team. Listen, man, I need someone respected in the community, someone honest and straightforward. Bottom line, I wasn't your first choice, was I? Well, oh, come on. Every Laker passed on it. And then I tried the Rams, and I couldn't get the Dodgers. All right, all right. That's right. I know it's only a local commercial, but I plan on going national. And a $1,000 for a few hours' work? $1,000? For a few hours' work. 
We got a deal? Sure. Come in? Nah, no action yet. Well, I can see why, Salami. Yeah, oh, reach man. out, reach out and touch no one. All right, where's another phone? Uh, down by the cafeteria. All right, we better get the price, because he can't get to us, all right? It's almost time for next period. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Eggie. No. Oh, man. Hey, Charles, I need to use the phone, bro. Hey, I love you too, baby. I love you too, baby. Chuck E, it's an emergency. A minute, Thorpe, I'm busy, man. Yeah. Oh, anything you say. Should... Time's up. Hey, man, that's my girlfriend. Was your girlfriend? Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> See you, Chucky. Oh, he's sorry. Hey, Slavery, what is it? Uh, you want to be left alone, Thorpe? <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, Salami, I want you to play secretary for me, you hear? Get out of here. No, seriously, no biggie ever accepts or places a call by himself. Crazy? Secretary. All right, here, here. Come on. Yeah. He hello? Uh, is he in for Mr. Thorpe? <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Mr. Price? Yeah, this is Morris. Thorpe. Right, yeah, we came in for the audition the other day. Yeah? Come on, don't put late for class. What is it? Okay. All right. Okay, fine. What do you do? What do you say? Oh, come on, don't be out with it. What happened? Come what on. are you guys doing Tuesday at 3 30? Free ball practice, so what? What do you nope. think? Nope. You're going to cut a record. Come in. Good morning, Sybil. It's almost noon. Well, so much for hellos. You wanted to see me? Yeah, the school board sent me a message this morning. Okay, and stop right there. I can tell this is going to be bad. Look, Sybil, before you drop the other shoe, I have a good piece of news. Oh. I've been asked to do a commercial. Why? Well, it's just a local spot. Oh, you mean the kind that comes before the late movie? No, no, it's prime time. Yeah, right, just before sermon at the national anthem and sign off. Right? Cute. Yeah, well, congratulations if it doesn't interfere with your work, but then, of course, with your hours, I... Uh, no, no, no. Uh, it's going to be shot next Thursday afternoon. I check with Ruben, and he'll cover for my health class. What about basketball practice? Check the schedule, will you, Sybil? We got a game that night. I'll be back with plenty of time. Okay, great. It's fine with me, then. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, I'll be in my office if you need me. Uh, Ken, the, uh, school board memo? Oh, yeah. Due to insurance reasons, we cannot allow the kids to use the gym during recess or lunch without supervision. That's ridiculous. Where do you want them? Out in the parking lot? They're throwing hubcaps for distance? Why don't you do some of the supervising? No, no. No way. That's my lunch hour, too, remember? I see enough of the gym after school. Oh, I just hate it when you do this. All right, I'll talk to Davis and Ballerini, and uh, we'll work out a schedule. Until that happens, you just pass the word along, okay? Why do I always have to be the heavy? Believe me, Ken, it builds character. Oh. Uh, by the way, um, how much are you getting paid for the commercial? I don't like to talk dollars, Sybil. Uh, let's just say that uh, it's the same as the bonus I got for signing my first pro contract. Oh, that little, huh? <laughs> Pardon me, itty bitty. You got reservations? Huh? Sparsy locker room, get out of here. Not the person. Do you like the lock of you? Hey, go play ping pong, get some hurt. Munchkin. Oh, 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 Teenager in love One day I feel so happy Next day I feel so sad I guess I'll learn to take The good with the bad Each night I ask the stars above Why must
must I be a teenager in love? I'd cry to tear for nobody but you. I'll be the lonely one if you should say well. Well, if you want to make me cry, that won't be so hard to do. If you should say goodbye, I'll still go on loving you. Why must I be a teenager in love? Why must I be a teenager in love? Enough, enough. I heard you singing all the way down the hall. Save it for the street corner, please. So how do we sound, Coach? Out. Out. Out, out. Out with your clothes in the shower. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, another new rule, uh, no more unsupervised basketball games in the gym. Why not? Because, how's that? It's no good. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we supposed to practice? Outside, I guess. But those baskets don't have no nets. Nets? Those baskets don't have no rims. No nets? No rims, no basketball. You think the guy has it in for us or what? You think it's gonna wreck our shot to get out of practice, go cut the record? It's a lock. Oh, yeah? Hey, listen, cool. Let's go take care of this thing, man. We'll meet you guys later on. Yeah, all right. Did you all get right. your knife with you? No, no, man, I left it. Hi. My name is Ken Reeves. I'm bullish on Robbie's radios and retreads. <clears throat> Hi. I'm Ken Reeves. Uh, that's Sounds like the coach is having an identity crisis. Uh, coach, you, you all right? What's it say on the door? The coach? No, no, that's half right, cool. It's a little sign that says knock before entering. Well, knock then entering. Listen, we, uh, we heard you talking to yourself. We thought you might have flipped out or something. I'm doing a spot on Robbie's radios and retreads. The tire company? Yeah, I thought. Really? Uh, can you get us a ride in the blimp? Robbie's doesn't have a blimp coolage. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you know, I use his tires. I didn't know you had a car, though. Well, I don't. I hung one from a tree so my sister could swing on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I'm glad to see that you're getting a chance to supplement your income, Coach. Thanks, Torb. We've got an opportunity, too, Coach, except for we need a favor. I knew it. What's a favor? We need to miss practice on Tuesday. What do you mean, we? The whole squad. What do you say? Oh, how's this? No. What? Read my lips carefully. No. Why? You know why, Thorpe. We got a big game coming up against South on Thursday, and we can't afford to lose it. And believe me, we can't afford to miss practice. Have you got any other questions? Well, Coach, you got any other questions? You know, Coach, I finally figured out why they got you to do the commercial. Why is that, Thorpe? Because they need a guy who can carry around his own spare. <laughs> What the coach have to say? Pasadena. There ain't no way I'm going to Pasadena to make a record. No, buffoon. He vetoed the idea. Why? Well, according to him, practice makes perfect. Brother, who's he kidding, man? Unless the NBA lowers the hoops to about eight feet, the three of us have no future in basketball. Besides, you play ball, your career's over at 35. You can make tunes until they wheel you away. That's true. Look at Frank Sinatra. Duke Ellington. The Jacksons. The Jacksons. They're kids, man. Yeah, but it seems like they've been around forever. So what are we gonna do now? Break the coach's heart? Can I get up to him? The coach is gonna kill us. Hey, we can make it up to him. Yeah, when we buy him his own franchise. Hey, we gotta get rich off this deal. Yeah, that's something we haven't thought about yet. What's that, Thorpey? We need a name. Hey, well, let's just keep it simple and to the point. Something like... The cool notes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, fellas, well, let's leave our egos out of this, all right? How about the stones? <laughs> you trying to leave us wide open for a lawsuit? Get serious. All right, I got it. Morris and the Thorpettes. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, I ain't singing on no crush. Why not? You do everything else in one? <laughs> Joe, 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 I have it, I have it, I have it. Where do we sound the best? In the shower after practice. Exactly. So how about Shower of Power? Hey, that's perfect. <laughs> that just got a good beat this evening to dance. Hell, I get it. 
give it a... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. All right, let's go. Show him forward. Down, 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 down. Boys, congratulations on winning the contest. And here it is. What is it? What is this? That's a standard contract. I want you to read it very carefully. Then sign uh, there right where it's indicated. A record contract? Man, it's hard to believe. Yeah, someone once took a contract down on my Uncle Louie. He couldn't believe it either. Oh, what does all this mumbo-jumbo mean? Okay, that's an agreement between Shower of Power, that's you, and BAM Records, uh, that's me. And it states that for $300, you get facilities, you get... 300 bucks? I thought we won the contest. <laughs> you have any idea what it costs to make a record? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're just a little surprised, that's all. Boys, I've been in this business a long time. I've seen a lot of acts come and go. we be perfectly frank with you guys. Most of them stink. But you guys, you guys got something special. And that something is called talent, and that is something that money can't buy. I don't know about this, Salam. I don't know. I believe in you guys. Do you believe in yourselves? $300. Think of this as an investment in your future. Well, this better be on the level. You guys got second thoughts? Hey, here's the door. Ah, uh, Salami never had second thoughts in his life. Where, where do we sign? Oh, no way, I don't hey, care. Hey, Get you, said, hey, hey, you said so yourself. The only thing to do with foul money is to blow it. Believe me, Nick, it's the right thing. Yeah, tell it to my savings account. Hey, look, all right, meet us at the car, guys. I want to talk to Nick. Hey, I'm in on this too, man. Sell it, sell it. Listen, Nikki, you get five and a half percent at the bank. Inflation's 13 percent. It's a loser's bet. If this record hits, man, we're all millionaires. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Hey, remember when we used to hang out at Grand Central Station on our way up to see the Yankees? Sure. Who was there? Working stiffs. Yeah, and bums like us putting down our last two bucks at the OTB windows and the three-piece suit crowd across the way uh, checking out the stock market prices. You used to say they were all playing the same game, only the uniforms were different. So? So? This is no different. Life's a crapshoot, man. And we may be on a roll. Uh, easy come, easy go. At least I got a toast oven out of the deal. We got time for a fast tuna melt. I mean, you know, I can't record an empty stomach. Anything you want, Nick. Sure, buddy. Yeah, let's go to the bank. Well, dudes, this is it, the big time. Won't be long now, Rolls Royces, $1,000 bills, and a different honey for every night of the week. Yeah, and check this out. There'll be billboards all over Sunset Boulevard with our faces on them. Oh, <laughs> sweet face. <laughs> slow down, slow down. Let's do the song first and worry about billboards later. Yeah, you gotta get down to work. Singing is very serious business. I'm just warming up, man. You know, getting loose. Please, I think we all know who the backbone of the group is. More like a tailbone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Billy Baby, what hey. it is. Tell you what it is, boys. It's 815, and you're late. Hey, what's the difference? We're paying for this, right? Okay, fine. You want to pay overtime to musicians, equipment, crew, studio rental? All right, we get it. So let's groove. Now, what do we got to do here, huh? Split into two groups mm -hmm. around those mics. That one and that one. That one. All right. Right down here. Right down here. Uh, what's that? The midget section? <laughs> <laughs> Say, Bill, how are we going to record without a band? They've been taking 10. They're on the way in. Oh, oh, God. Wow. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, what is this? Night of the Living Dead? <laughs> Please, we're talking heavy narcotics. Your mama know you like this, boy. Does he know he's like this? <laughs> hey, how are we going to work with zombies? <laughs> have to be the best side man in town. Yeah, but where are the musicians? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, excuse me, you, uh, you, uh, what, what's your name? Uh, Coolidge, C-O-O-L-I. I can spell, thank you. Oh, good. Uh, Coolidge, uh, do me a favor, grab that stool there and sit on it so we can lower the mic for the rest of the guys. Hey, I can't sit down and sing. I gotta be at a move and, you know, get into it, you understand? Then bend over. Look out. <laughs> hey, I've been to no man. 
Look, uh, if you guys don't want to cooperate, I can get the contest runners up in here. I'm sure they'd be very, very happy to cut a record. Oh, uh, no, man. We're ready. Just say the word, all right? All right. Uh, over there, would you please turn that mic clockwise a little bit? You mean like this? Wow, man. I felt good. <laughs> <laughs> what song are you doing? Uh, Under the Boardwalk. It's by the Drifters. You know that? Yeah. It's laid on a track. Okay, guys? Hey, man, we gonna rehearse or something? No, no, we rehearse on tape. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. Larry, count them up. One, two, three, four. can almost hear the happy sounds of the carousel. You can almost taste the hot dogs and french fries they sell. Under the board, oh, down by the sea, yeah. On a blanket with my baby is where I'll be. Under the board. That was very nice. Very nice indeed. That's it. What do you mean that's it? We've only been here 20 minutes. Uh, we put down two vocal tracks and the instruments you see are on a, on a third. It's a standard song. Yeah, but for 300 smackers, shouldn't we get a little something uh, more? No, that's it. Talk about the bombs rush. And we could have recorded this on Stone's cassette machine for free. Uh, look, boys. I got your number, and I'll be in... Ah, uh, no, man, I got your number. Boys? Boys, this is called a demo record, and it's just what the name implies. Uh, it demonstrates your ability. Uh, later on, when you're under contract to a record company, there'll be plenty of time then for more uh, polished sessions. It's, it's, it's the way the business works. Say, uh, do we get a copy of our song or what? Of course. Your records will be ready in a couple of days. If you want, I'll even give you a cassette to take with you. Well, when is the thing going to be on the radio? Uh, that's hard to say. Yeah, well, let's try and say it, shall we? Gentlemen, would you please leave that part to the professionals? Thank you. Excuse me, I do have uh, some work to do. Oh, man, I can't believe it. And try to stay in touch. Right. With Earth. You know, the more I think about it, the better I feel about last night's session. What's to think about? That guy was a jerk. That's because you don't understand business. Cool, all the biggies are like that. That's how they get to the top. They don't take any bull. That's right. And besides, the important thing is we got plenty of what we need the most, man. That's talent. That's why we gonna make it. Hey, guys, have you seen Reeves yet? What's wrong? Why? Oh, man, he's on the rampage. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, evidently there is room in his heart for forgiveness. How's it feel, Thorpe? I can't anymore. That's too bad. Oh, ain't this against the law? Well, you gotta take the good with the bad, Stone. You know what would have been good? Yesterday's practice would have been real good if you'd been there. 
anti juice and cookies plan. Really? That's right, Salami, with the party hats and favors, like when you were children. Children! Which is just what you acted like when you skipped out of practice yesterday. <laughs> we can explain. I'm listening. <laughs> well, you know how we're... Keep moving. Keep moving. Well, you know how we're always singing in the shower and stuff, right? Well, we entered this contest to see if we could win this recording contract. And we won! Am I to assume you guys were out making a guest appearance? Well, not exactly. We had to go down and sign our contracts. Contracts? Yeah, and then we cut a record. Well, you signed a contract? And uh, here's a cassette of the record we made. This is our big chance, Coach. We're talking about our future here. Hey, hey, your future big bucks. Anybody take the time to read this contract? Yeah, we, we looked it over. Oh, so you understand you just spent $300 for a two-buck cassette. Not just a cassette. We got 200 copies of our record. Oh, good, good. That'll be worth 20, 30 bucks. No, Coach, you don't understand. See, this guy, Bill Price, he's going to get us a deal with a recording company. You don't understand, Stone. According to this, all you get are the records, period. But we won this contest. So did everyone who entered. Yeah, but he told us that... What he told you was a con. Didn't you guys ever hear of a vanity press? Oh, come on, Coach. We're talking records here, not dry cleaning. Look, if someone wants to have a book published and nobody will do it, he can go to a vanity press. They charge him to print it and give him all the copies. He doesn't have a publishing company behind him to help him sell his books. He just has the copies. If he wants to sell the books, he's got to do it himself. No, we're not talking books here, and we're definitely not talking dry cleaners. We're talking records, Coach, records. It's an analogy, Stone. Hey, what's that mean? <sighs> means we've been had. Fellas, all right, we only got an hour for lunch. Well, how long can it take to dismember someone? All right, listen, let me do the talking in here, all right? All right. No, man, hey, on. hey, man, let's break it down. Locked. Locked. What? Here, give me a boost, man. Let me see what's going on. Uh, can you see anything? Maybe he went to lunch. How many people you know take their couch to lunch? What? Oh, and their desks and their chairs and... I'm gonna put it on the floor. You and your chair. Man, chair. Man, chair. Man, chair. Look, at least we got them. Yeah, well, that price is due for that plastic surgery, because I never forget a face. Hey, it'd be my pleasure to operate on it. You guys no. don't seem to understand. Punching his lights on ain't gonna help me one bit. I'm out 300 bucks. So what do you want us to do? I want you to throw some bucks to me. That's what I want you to do, kind of even out the score. Hey, listen, we agreed to take a shot, all right? Well, that's because someone said that life's a crapshoot. We might be on a roll. I know, I know. Vitalia, why don't you just go back to the track and try your system? Oh, yeah. What am I supposed to use, Stone Records, huh? Look, you guys, instead of fighting about this, why don't we figure out some plan to make some of that dough back? Yeah, like what? Sell them door to door? As a matter of fact, yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, what am I for right now? <sighs> Not from the powder. This stuff does come off, doesn't it? Ah, oh, you look great, Ken. I am? This commercial is going to be terrific. Get me over here. Yeah, well, I hope it doesn't take too long. I got a game tonight. No, no, you'll be out in no time. Uh, by the way, the director asked me to give you this. What's this? The latest revisions on the script. Revisions? Absolutely not. Get yourself another boy. Oh, come on, Ken. Uh, this wasn't part of the deal you promised me. Listen, Ken, I paid a lot of money to an ad agency yeah. to come up with a concept. This is their idea, and frankly, I think it's a darn good one. Yeah, well, sure you do. You don't have to make an idiot out of yourself. We're ready for you, Mr. Reeves. Yeah, well, I'm not ready for you. Just, just give me a second. Jocks. Listen, Ken, something like this costs a fortune. I got equipment rental, stage rental, a 40-man crew, film costs. You know, you made a commitment to me, and now you want to leave me high and dry. Something like this could ruin me. Okay, okay. You know, I'm a family man. I'm trying to build a business, and if you take Stop. a... Stop. I said okay, okay? Oh, thanks, Ken. You don't know what this means to me. Oh. Hi, my name's Ken Reeves, and I'm bullish on Robbie's radials and retreads. As a former NBA basketball player, I know the importance of getting a good grip on the hardwood. And as a high school teacher, I know the value of the three R's. At Robbie's, you'll get straight talk and great bargains. For example, take a look at this beauty right here. It's a famous make girl. Cut. 
Look, it's okay, Ken. We have a lot of film. Sorry, no sis, problem. she no had problem. clothes on during rehearsals. Well, that was rehearsal. Oh. Hey, I should have warned you. My fault? Okay, go again? Sure. Ready? Yeah. Okay, yeah. everybody ready? We're rolling. Speed. Robbie's radials, take two. And action. Mm -hmm. It came off easy the last time. Oh, it went. Robbie's radials, take eight. And action. No. Oh. Hi, my name's Ken Reeves, and I'm bullish on Robbie's radials and retreads. As a former NFL basketball player, I got NFL. Cut. Robbie's radials, take 21. And action. No. My name's Ken Reeves, and I'm bullish on Robbie's radials and retreads. As a former in... Cut. There will be an exhibition by both members of the chess club today at 3 p.m. in room 245. Tomorrow's menu will be coleslaw, macaroni and cheese, corn niblets, and fruit cocktail. Monday's menu will be Salisbury steak, potato puffs. <laughs> You've heard of Tower of Power, but how about Shower of Power? Carver High's own rock and roll sensation. Recently back from the heralded urban tour, Shower of Power has been in the studio to cut a new groove. And now for a limited time only, you can own a piece of music history. For mere three bucks, you can buy a special limited edition copy of their latest single and get their personal autographs as a bonus. And if you act now, you'll get a special, special bonus. A chance to win a date with the team member of your choice. Just think, a night out on the town with a young, groovy, hip, rock and roll star. So remember, to buy this record... Hold on, Coolidge. So remember, to buy this record, you can do it... Coolidge, hold on. So remember, it'll be something you'll cherish for years, that shower of power in their latest hit song. Hello, Miss Buchanan. <laughs> Catchy title. <laughs> I just don't understand it, Mitchell. Hey, this record ain't so bad. Man, I hope the other guys did better than us. Hey, man, I have the most personality in this entire school, all right? I'm suave, sophisticated, and persuasive. Now, if I couldn't sell a record, none of them could. Well? Nothing. Me neither. <laughs> What'd I tell you? Shut up. I sold three. Say what? Hamalock is very effective. Uh -huh. Hey, how'd you do? Uh, between us, nine bucks. Nine? That's only three records. How many did you sell? Two. That's great. Five records. Fifteen lousy bucks. You guys are beautiful. Hey, maybe the price is too high. Hey, three bucks ain't so much for a record. Well, for 45 with only one sign, you have to be nuts to buy these things. Well, maybe we could get the mail order concession for Bellevue. Uh, I could have sworn this record was gonna be hot. Hot? <laughs> It's as cold as a coal miner's booty. <laughs> That's it. What? Did anyone see the movie Coal Miner's Daughter? Oh, oh, no, no, I'm serious. Listen, listen. There's a singer chick, right? And she makes a record, only she can't get it sold or nothing. What does some movie chick have to do with us? Well, shut up and you'll hear, Joker. What she does, she takes a record around, right, to all the radio stations and delivers it to the DJs in person. He plays it on the air, and what happens when a record's played on the radio? It sells. That's right, so let's take it to the phrase. Yeah, sure, and how are we supposed to get in to see him? Details, details, let's just go. What a night I had last night. You know, I woke up this morning with an order of sweet and sour shrimp and an oriental cocktail waitress to go. And boy, were my arms tired. So sue me, sushi. Hey, you have to take the sour with the sweet. After all, this is the 80s. Totally happening hot. Los Angeles. Your boss rocking the 80s with Fraser Smith, your master blaster, your boss with a hot sauce, your main board with the joy toy, the man so mean, the man so clean, they had to call him Shecky Green. Your graphic equalizer in the band of life. Hi, I'm Kathy Lee Crosby. Quack, we'll be quack. right back to That's Insane 
or those amazing animals eat the real people, isn't that just incredible? Well, we'll take a look at a chimpanzee who pilots a 747 jetliner onto a runaway truck. We'll see a man who plays racquetball with venomous snakes. And we'll watch co-host Fran Tarking and try to stuff a Guernsey cow into a blender to make a unique health drink. And remember, I've got a microwave pet exciter and a nuclear weapon to give away to the uh, 400,000th caller. Just give me a call. The number's on your screen and the check's in the mail. And when we return, we'll uh, meet a lady who raises sweet potatoes for fashion, and we'll visit with a 400-pound sumo wrestler who's going to try to fit into a pair of designer jeans. I can't believe so you pulled a guy with a Commodore. So what, it worked, did you? Don't him, There he is. That's him. That's him. That's him. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll be right back to our movie, Pizza Girls, They Deliver. But first, this word from the Coal Patrol and the Coal Patrol theme song. Hey, Faze, we're too hip and we gotta talk to you. Who the hell are you guys? How'd you get in here? Uh, we're Shower and Power, an up-and-coming new group, and uh, we got something for you. Is she over 18? It's not a she, it's a record. Hey, I got plenty of those, man. Uh, listen, though, you don't understand. You see, it's like this. We... Listen, I love to chit-chat with you fellas, but I'm too hip. I got hey, things Fraser, to do. only take a minute, man. Honest. Gee, I love you fellas, but I'm pretty busy here. Uh, listen, let me capsulize this thing for you, okay? Yeah. See, it all started when we saw this recording contest hey, sure. in the paper. Move right in, right? you know? So Robbie came up with the idea to bring it to you, and uh, here we are. So what do you think, huh? Huh? Is that you, Cindy? Come on, Fraze, how do you think we're gonna make out on this deal, man? Well, the way I see it, fellas, your chances are slim to none. Oh, hey, listen, sorry, guys, but you got caught in a scam. What can I tell you? If you can't sell the records yourself, which evidently you can't, you're out of luck. Man, well, would you at least listen to the record? Sure, but I can't promise anything. What? That's okay, we understand. Here, here, this thing's a sure hit. Man. Think so, huh? Yeah. Okay, you guys are gonna be boss rock in the valley, huh? Yeah. All right, well, we'll see, man. Give it a shot here. Ultra boss. For the 80s. And that was me and my band, the Ultra Teens, doing the Cool Patrol theme song. And now here's a new song for you, Shower of Power. Give me a call and tell me what you think about it. Well, we'll know in a minute if it's any good. <laughs> hey, remember this moment, fellas, because this is where our career begins. <laughs> yeah, man, right. Okay, they're lighting up like Christmas trees here. Let's try that first call. Hello, sucker. What do you think of this record? You call it music? Are you trying to say you don't like it? Let me put it this way. It stinks. Nice talking to you. Hey, man, it's only one try another one. Okay. What do you want? I've heard better sound than a cat fight. Everybody's a comedian, huh? What's your name, buddy? Hey, 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 hey. I like to hey. punch his ticket. Hey, let's just punch his button, all right? You guys aren't making out so good. Go ahead, man. That's the best song I've ever heard. Man, could those dudes sing? And well, that's more like it. <laughs> yeah, I like this guy. I'm a big-time record producer, and I want to sign those dudes. What are their names? Shower of Power. Marvelous name. Uh, I haven't heard that kind of harmony since the Four Tops. What's up? Are you on medication, man? Uh, no, not at the moment. But anyway, get back to the record. I think it's hot uh, stuff. Well, it's millions, maybe billions. I mean, the guys are so good. That... How good are we, cool? Well, we're so good, Thorpe. One more call, all right? You got a lot to choose from. Okay, I want to try a new approach this time. This time, I only want to hear from people who like the record. Hey, hey, your phone's broke. No, I don't think so, Salon. Sorry, guys. No, that's all right. Thanks for the lesson in reality. Hey, don't mention it. Hey, next time you cut a record, don't come to me, all right? Now get out of here. That was a band called Shower of Power. And now here's a tune from the Daffy Duck Band. And Armenians drive me crazy. On k Lox Bagel Rock in the Valley. I hope I get a break away. I'm sure you will. Sometime. 
Hey, cool. You think I'm gonna be able to dribble, man? Yeah, man. Take a little tighter. Oh, really quick win. It's alright, man. Y'all ready for this game or what? Hey, did anybody notice that there's something missing here? Yeah. Don't look at me. I didn't take nothing. No, no, not stolen. Missing. Is it C O A C H? Give me a minute, I'll figure it out. You're right. Where is that guy? Hey, you guys coming out or what? Sure, all we need is a coach. You better get it pretty soon or you're going to forfeit. Big rules are clear. No coach, no game. Forfeit. Where is he? All right, all right. Being last year's team captain, I guess it's up to me to be the take charge kind of guy. Oh, right? Come on. Okay, okay. 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 Listen up, listen up. On D, we'll start with a basic man-to-man, -man, unless they're strictly playing run and gun in the first half. If that's the case, we can save some energy by dropping into a collapsing zone. Okay? Keep your hands up Hold and on. box them out under the board. Excuse me. All right? Coolidge, shut up or I'll break your face. Stone, wake up. Okay. Now, on offense, we're running 1-3-1. One, one. Okay? Rutherford and Coolidge, high and low post, respectively. Okay. Now, work the ball. Keep it off the floor. Pass, pass, pass to the open man and drive it home. All right? Play tough, play physical, and you got him. Okay, now, starting five. Coolidge, Rutherford, Thorpe, Franklin, and me. Salam. Okay, let's go get him and show him how to play ball. Very nice, Salami. You do that better than me. Why don't we split the coaching dough? I don't do it that well. Sit down. You're late. Yeah, it looks like you won't be starting tonight, Coach. Uh, sorry about that. That commercial I told you about, that was a big mistake. Yeah, well, join the club, Coach. That record deal. We got burned. Well, I'm the wrong one to say I told you so. Yeah, so what's the game plan, Coach? Oh, you heard what Salami said. Let's get to it. Oh, he's a dope. He don't know nothing. He knew enough not to start you, right, Stone? Hey, come on now, Coach. You gotta be kidding. Ah, uh, Salami had it right. You got your game plan, so let's get out there and execute. Let's yeah, go. Right. Okay. Uh, he did start you, didn't he, Coach? I think. Good. Let's move. It's a harried, Yo, come on, enough. And hey, Coach, lose the eyeliner before you go courtside. After this message. Oh. Ken, what's the matter? I'm just gonna <clears throat> turn off the TV. Hold it. What? You never told me you made a commercial. Yeah, well. Oh, you look so cute in your basketball outfit. Uniform. Right. Yeah, well, you can see this later. Oh, but I... No, it's dull, it's dull. I've seen it a hundred times. Great talk and great bargains. For example, take a look at this beauty right here. save his own grandmother. Yeah, I know. I mean, unless maybe she slipped in a 20. Come on, fellas, it wasn't no big thing. No big thing? You all over the news reports. Funny thing about it was that I just sensed the car was gonna blow up, see? Now, they all think I saved her. Listen, you go spouting some story, and pretty soon folks gonna find out what happened. I'm not gonna go to jail just because you feel like opening your big mouth bragging about things you didn't really do.
who did it. Where is Coach Reeves? He had to go to the bike shop. Yeah, somebody deflated all the basketballs and stole the pump. He went to get a new pump. So you blew up a toilet? Miss Buchanan, uh, we didn't have anything to do with blowing up a toilet. It's 4.45 in the afternoon. No one else is left in the building. And a toilet blows up in the boys' locker room. Now, who do you think is responsible for this? School property is not for your personal, antisocial, perverted impulses. Now, I want to know who did it, or the whole team will have to pay for the damages. All right. Starting now, there will be some changes made. Now, you get a lot from this school. It's about time you started giving some of it back. <clears throat> There's a senior citizen's home on 96th Street. We're starting a new program there. High school kids helping out the elderly. And I think somebody on this team should volunteer his time. Say what? You heard me, Warren. One afternoon a week or Saturday. Uh, excuse me, Miss Buchanan, but let me get this straight. Are you asking that somebody on this championship quality team give up some of their valuable time, perhaps even a Saturday, to spend some time with a bunch of old biddies? No, Wardell. I'm not asking. But you just go back and you check on that toilet. Now, how much do you think a new one's going to cost? You guys think about it, okay? Now, get out. Antisocial, perverted impulses. The woman's got a streak, man. Uh, it wasn't us, Coach. We were just waiting around for you. Hey, don't look at me. I haven't been regular since Saturday. What's the matter with you guys? I leave you alone for a half hour. You're committing acts of terrorism. Coach, you don't Salami. see me. Salami. Not a word. Everybody out in the court. Let's go. Now. Hey, Wardell. What were you doing by that toilet? Nothing much. All right, well, you see, these kids, well, they gave me these cherry bombs, uh, and... They gave you these cherry bombs. Well, I asked them politely. Uh-huh. My man, Wardell. <laughs> so, anyway, I got these six ash cans, right? Hey, but big deal. But then I'm thinking, if you put six ash cans together, what does it look like? A stick of dynamite! <laughs> so what'd you do, Wardell? So I put them together. I don't think I want to hear any more of this. And you did all this without blowing yourself up, right? He had to blow himself up. This is Wardell we're talking about. Hey, would you let me finish? Thank you. So uh, anyway, I said to myself, Wardell, you cannot be trusted with dynamite, boy. Flush it down the toilet. And that's just what I did. Of course, I lit it first. Well, I didn't know. I figured the water would maybe put it out or something. But no, <laughs> that thing hissed and bubbled. Next thing I know, kablam! So what the... Wardell, take your feet off the dashboard. So what went kablam? Uh, I don't know anything about that, Coach. Hey, uh, hang a left here. Some Wardell. You guys are going to be in a lot of trouble if someone doesn't come forward. Yeah, I sure hope someone does, but that's a doggone shame blowing up a toilet like that. Wardell, mm. shut up. You know, the more I look at you, I think people are just born to be the class clown. You know, they're funny, they're entertaining. <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah, well, you're not. You're not entertaining, you're not even funny. Well, tell me, what am I then? I don't know, that's what I'm trying to find out. Do you do anything besides blow up toilets? I mean, are you a student? Uh, you play an instrument? Uh, you're certainly not playing very good basketball for me. Uh-oh, here comes the lecture. No, oh, no, I'm not lecturing you, Wardell. I'm attacking you. I don't care if you mess up your own life, but you're not going to blow up toilets in my locker room and then strut around five seconds behind every play and watch your opponent score. You understand? You keep that up, I'm going to break your face. What do you think of that? I think it's a lecture. Uh-huh. Hey, what are you stopping for? You're getting out. Oh, come on, coach. You're driving me. Out. 
Put out. And then in his first term in office, Roosevelt repealed prohibition. Now, why do you think he did that, Wardell? Uh, he felt like taking a nip. <laughs> Wardell, have you ever heard of the Depression? Of course I've heard of the Depression. What was it? Even white folks was poor. Very decisive, Wardell. White folks were so poor that they got depressed, so they called it the Depression. <laughs> <laughs> when were your parents born? Well, now my mother was born in 41. Oh, so then your grandparents were alive during the Depression. Do you know where they were? Sure, Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how old they were, Wardell? Do you know what they were doing when they got married? Do you know what they had to do to get the money to get married? What do you know? Except how to stare into space and disrupt a classroom at the appropriate moment. Denise, why did Roosevelt repeal prohibition? Uh, no one was obeying the law anyway. In fact, uh, most people disagreed with it. So Roosevelt thought that a new industry could stimulate the economy. Thank you, Denise. For tomorrow, would you look at the chapter on the rise of Hitler and Germany? Wardell, what did I just say? I don't know, something about something. Hey, wait up a minute. I got some great news for you. What? You won. Won what? An all expense paid trip to the, 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 the Hollywood. That's right, young lady. You and your date, Wardell Stone, get to cruise down famous Hollywood Boulevard. Take on the sights of Sunset Strip. Party with the stars of stage and screen. Wardell. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Hey, Leroy. So, hey, Wardell, how's life treating you, my man? Hey, couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. Yo, you don't look so good to me, Vlad. What's the matter? You feeling down in the dumps? <laughs> hey, I feel great, great. Yeah, I sure hate to see you when you're feeling bad. Anyway, I got just a thing for you. Meet me tonight, we'll go for a drive. You got some wheels. No problem. All right. Yeah. What are you stopping for? Say, this ain't bad. What you think about this, Stone? Leroy, you said you had a car. What you think you looking at? Somebody else's Cadillac. All right, no sweat, no sweat. Look, you don't like Cadillacs, I ain't gonna push them on you. We'll just keep looking, all right? But you want a convertible? Hey, man, look here. can we just find some women instead, man? Look, Wardell, I've told you, you can't find women without wheels. Now, that's just a rule. Man, I don't believe what I see. This is it, Black. Leroy. Oh, mama. My birthday. Oh, Leroy, man. No. Need a ride, Black? <laughs> man, you gonna get me in prison yet? Yeah, we're gonna have a good time getting there. Come on. <laughs> well, let's do it.
Man, count to them dudes to move so I can back up. Go out up there! Man, are you crazy? I ain't gonna tell them ugly dudes nothing. So what you gonna do, Warder? Wait for the cops? Yeah, that's right, or you gonna tell them. Man, come on, I'm driving the car, man. Hey! Go, go find out what's happening up there. Go on, man. say you saw her in there, saw the flames, and then just pulled her out. Huh? Well, what's going on, officer? This kid pulled a woman out of a flaming car just seconds before it exploded. Well, what's your name? What else stone, but see. Uh, this is great. You went into a car to save a woman. Didn't you get hurt? Hey, but look, it really wasn't nothing. I mean, all I did was just reach in and... And then what? I just picked her up and dragged her right over you, there. You mean you went into a burning car without any regard to your own safety? That's what you did. Wardell. I don't know if you realize this, but you're a hero. Get a picture of this. An honest to goodness hero. Morning, boss. Hello. Do you believe this? <laughs> you don't think there could be another Wardell Stone? Well, the Wardell I know wouldn't save his own grandmother. Yeah, I know. I mean, unless maybe she slipped in a 20. He blew up the toilet, didn't he? I don't know. Yeah, but you think so. No, I think that anyone who would save a woman from a burning car wouldn't blow up a toilet. Well, as I said, maybe there is one more Wardell Stone. Captain Marvel. Nice work, Wardell. <laughs> yeah, well, you Princely know, I... work. Princely work. Help me, help me, help me. I mean, what was it like going around out of the burning fire? Did you get burned? Let's see the wounds. Come on, fellas, it wasn't no big thing. No big thing? You all over the news reports, Wardell Stone, young, heroic, and black. My hero. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how it is, fellas. You do what you got to do. I mean, I didn't go out and look for it, you understand what I mean? But when opportunity knocks, you just... Hey, that's something just... we got to talk to you about, too, Wardell. You see, you're in the limelight now, man. Bright lights, media attention. What you need is an agent. What do you know about agents? You see, Wardell, you got opportunities all around you. Miss Buchanan, I didn't have nothing to do with it. With what? Whatever it is you want to see me about. 
You're not in trouble, Wardell, incredible as that may seem. Come on in. There's someone here who wants to see you. This is Sarah Albright. She produces the L.A. Evening Show. Oh, how you Hello. doing? Oh, yeah, with Cheryl Maynard and... And uh... Jack Benedict. They're a team, Wardell. And they would both like you to come on the show. Excuse me? They want you to go on TV, Wardell. After we read about what you did last night, well, that was something really special. And we want people to know about it. And to see what you're like in person. Could you come on the show tonight? Tonight? Well, there's nothing to be afraid of. Cheryl and Jack will ask you some questions, and you just supply the answers. We don't get heroes every day, you know? Will you do it? Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes, Cheryl. I'm glad you asked me that question. Hey, What's all this blabbing about saving that old crow? Hey, man, what you mean blabbing, man? Now, they all think I saved her. Listen, you go spouting some story, and pretty soon folks gonna find out what happened. Look, man, there's nothing to worry about, all right? Yes, there is, Wardell. You are gonna mess up, man. And I'm not gonna go to jail just because you feel like opening your big mouth bragging about things you didn't really do. Hey, man, you know that fox on the show, Cheryl Maynard? He's gonna meet her, man. Yeah, even in L.A. Why don't I ever get to see no accident? Every time you look in the mirror, you see one. <laughs> nah, I don't like that Cheryl Maynard much. I like that one in the morning. What's her name? Cynthia Holmes. Are you crazy? Man, I can go on TV. What as? A weather map? Well, I got a good voice for it. You need a face, too. But first, our top story. Tragedy struck last night when young Morris... Hey, was what else? What are you doing here? Hey, man, why don't you get down to the station? Yeah, well, I kind of decided I don't need that TV stuff. What? What are you guys standing around for? You know how I feel about that. Hey, Stone, what are you doing here? Miss Buchanan said you're going on TV. He doesn't need all that TV stuff, Coach. He's above all that. Are you crazy? Don't you want to meet uh, Cheryl Maynard? What'd that tell you? I don't know, Coach. Everybody, they've been making such a big deal over this thing. And it... Well, Dell, you saved a woman's life. It is a big deal. It excites people. They want to see you. Yeah, well... Wardell, you don't understand. I let you out of practice. I don't let anybody out of practice. Please, right? right? Out! Listen, Wardell, like I always say, man, if fame is inevitable, just relax and enjoy it. Yeah. But one last thing before you go, Dr. Mouser. Now, tell me, how is your asparagus diet any different than this Garsdale? First of all... Where did this asparagus diet nonsense come from? The okay, we're finishing with Dr. Dr. Meltzer now. Let's go on out to the wings, and when you hear your name, just walk on out, okay? Uh, do you have a toilet anywhere around here? There's no time now, Wardell. Don't worry, just answer the questions, okay? Okay. Look at the book. Asparagus is only a part of a complete daily plan. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Doctor. Just take it easy. And don't forget to step off on the platform. Thank you. Don't Good you day. think so, Cheryl? Oh, <laughs> are you kidding, Jack? Every time he comes on the show, I lose five pounds. Well, Cheryl, you don't need to lose weight, does she, folks? <laughs> you will lose weight. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. oh, man, he's gonna sit next to her. Oh, well, where is he? We have somebody very, very special we want you to meet right now. Now, last night, this young man found a lady named Emma Mae Washington slumped in her car. This is it. Come by fumes. Now, with flames bursting all around her, he took her from the car just seconds before it exploded. Now, how about that? What a feat of courage. Folks, I want you to meet a very, very special young man, Mr. Wardell Stone. Come on in, Wardell. Uh-oh. Have a seat. <laughs> <coughs> oh, no. Look out! It's a pleasure to meet you. It's an honor. Sit down. Hi there, Wardell. How are you? Fine. So tell us, Wardell, how did you feel when you saw Mrs. Washington slumped over that steering wheel? 
Well, I don't know. What did you think was going on? I thought maybe she was dead or something. <laughs> well, when did you realize that she wasn't dead? Well, she moved or something. Ah, and then you realized she wasn't dead. Right. Yeah. And then, um, then what happened? Someone shoot this jerk and put him out of his misery. <laughs> Ordell, there must have been a big explosion when that car went, wasn't there? Yes, ma'am. And did it knock you over? No, ma'am. Oh, come on, I can't stand it. Hey, wait a minute. You Give the guy a chance, strong. will you? I'll bet you lift weights or something. Look at this. No, ma'am. I just play on the basketball team. Oh, Carver has a great team. You said it, lady. Yes, and a famous coach. Ken Reeves, Jack. He used to play with the Bulls. Ah, yes. Oh, yes, ma'am. And he's a great coach, too. But it's kind of tough, you know. We're not having enough money in the budget to get new equipment and all. But uh, I guess we get by. Get by? You made the state championships last year. Yes, ma'am. I bet they'll go even further with you there this year. Can you believe this? So tell us, Wardell, what possessed you to pull that woman out of the car? Well, it was like, there she was, mm -hmm. car burning, smoke all over the place, and this old lady was just sitting there, knocked out cold. She could have been my own grandmother, you know, so I just knew I had to get her out of there and help her out. That's really wonderful. And you know, so um, I was coughing and all, right? But I knew it wasn't no time to be getting scared. So I reached in, pulled her out, ran, then boom! <laughs> Well, that's amazing, Wardell, and you're an amazing guy. And you deserve all the recognition in the world. It's been a pleasure having you today. We'll be right back. And with... see, what the crazy thing about it was that I just knew the car was going to go up, see, in flames. Thank you very it's... much, Wardell, very much. But I'm afraid we're out of time. And uh, it's been a pleasure having you, and I wish you the best of luck in everything you do. And I think that you're just a terrific young man. No! I don't believe it. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. No, the funny thing about it was that I just sensed the power. Lift weights? Oh, no, I don't have to lift weights. Not me. Oh, but you're so strong. All right, look, Wardell, we saw it, man. Now, listen, did you take her out afterwards or what? Ain't hey, never mind all that. But do you see this cheek here? Two million people saw her kiss this cheek. Mm. You're such a terrific young man, Wardell. Oh, man. Hey, where's my hat? What did he get all the luck for? He don't deserve it. Hey, when you fellas got my hat? You won't forget your friends, will you, Wardell? We sure would hate that, Wardell. Oh, it's a gem locker. Oh, yeah. And you fellas got to pull yourselves together here. Say what? Hey, it's a big world out there, cool. If you're gonna get anywhere in this life, you gotta stop standing around wasting time. Hey, think about it. Figure out later. After school, we'll lie and wait for him. He'll walk by, we'll kill him. Hey, coach. Hey, Stone, how you doing? All right. Here, let me help you with something else. Got you. Okay. Feeling okay, Wardell? Sure, Coach. Why? Well, you're helping out. It's not like you. Yeah, well, I just felt like being neighborly. Oh, yeah? I've been going today. Uh, Thanks, Wardell. I appreciate it. Sure. You put on quite a show last night. <laughs> it was no big deal. No big deal, huh? How do you explain the constant stream of phone calls, donations to the Heroes basketball team? <laughs> Come on, Coach. You kidding me. I know. These cartons were out in front of the door with no note or anything. People are really touched by what you did. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're a celebrity, Wardell. <laughs> OK, I'll see you later, Coach. Hey, excuse me, are you Wardell Stone? Yeah, that's me. The Wardell Stone, the one on TV? Yeah. Can I help your autograph? It's for my little sister. Sure, what do I sign? Oh, you sign my book. Right here. Uh, what's your sister's name? Uh, Tony. OK, to Tony. There you go. Thanks. Sure. Oh, what else? Yeah. One more thing. I don't know if I should take earth science or algebra. What do you think? What? 
Well, I figure since you're famous and all, maybe you should know. <laughs> okay, uh, I would take Earth Science. Thanks. Sure. See you later. That's okay, Wardell. I know that you didn't have time to study last night. But given the situation that you have in Germany in 1939, what do you think happened? Uh, yeah, well, uh... Now remember, Hitler was a bully, arming for war. Chamberlain wanted appeasement. Now what do you think happened? Well, if you give in to a bully once, he figures you'll do it again. Mm -hmm. So I guess Hitler probably said, on to the next stop, because ain't no stopping us. And that's exactly what they did. Into the Sudetenland, and the die was cast. Now remember... Waddell, that was very good. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Hi. Oh, hi, that was real good, Waddell. Thanks, Denise. Hey, guess what? What? Well, I was wondering that if you're not busy today after school, maybe if we could go, uh... Oh, I'm really sorry, Wardell. I have to work on that senior citizens project over in 96. Oh, you mean that volunteer thing with the old folks? Yeah, what's wrong with it? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with it. I work on it, too. You do? Yeah. Well, that's wonderful, Wardell. I guess I'll see you over there, then. Yeah. Okay. Bye. And you're volunteering to work with these senior citizens? Yes, ma'am. Why? We'll all be old someday, right? <laughs> right. You know you're not going to be paid for this. I know. Okay. Great. Hey, thanks, Mr. Buchanan. Uh, Wardell. Yes, ma'am? Nothing illegal. No, ma'am. So I played hoops there all day, and I'm telling you, the girls at this junior college love the young athletic types. Meaning I'm in and you out. Speak for yourself, moron. Hey, Wardell, you coming or what? No, I got some things to do. Uh, what you got going, Wardell? Nah, it's nothing. Uh, maybe you didn't hear me. I asked you what you had going, brother. Hey, man, it's nothing. Uh-huh. Cool. Would you uh, uh, talk to this hey, man? Hey, come on now, fellas. I said it's nothing, right. really. It's uh -huh. nothing. Come on, 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 come Hey, hey, fellas, I, I'll be helping out those less fortunate than myself. Well, what's wrong with it anyway, huh? It's sick, that's what it is. Next thing you know, you'll be running for the Senate. Hey, Wardell, get off the hood. You're getting slobber all over the paint. Oh, hey, Wardell, Wardell, word to the wise. Bring your tape deck. They're going to bore you to tears. What? Get ah. on! Get on! Come on! Get on! Down and set. Two and zip. Down and set. Two and zip. Good. And step. So that's it. And zip again. Step and down. And step. Two and dip down. How you Good. doing, Denise? Uh, I see you teach them how to hustle, dip. huh? Uh huh. Hey, well, maybe you need a partner to kind of help you along. No, I'm doing just fine, Wardell. Well, 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 you see, that way I'll be dip. able to, Two. you know, that we'll be able to really do it right. Wardell, there are other people in here. Maybe you should be spending some time with them. What for? Step. For one thing, that's why we're here. And step down and Yeah, maybe step. you're right. Well, Two I'll and see what they're up to. Down. I'll catch you later. Wardell. Yeah? Over there. Oh, yeah, right. Well. And dip. Down and dip. And step. And dip. Yo, so how's it going, fellas? Step. Two and dip. Name's Wardell Stone. And, step. and I come over here to make you fellas afternoon a little bit more enjoyable. Of course, they're not paying me anything, you understand what I mean? Hey, well, that's okay, fellas. I don't mind lending a helping hand, because we're going to have fun, right? Here we are. I'm thinking we may not be around that long, you know what I mean? Oh, poker, huh? No, dominoes. 
Come on, Joe. Let's go. Huh? I'm in. Oh, you got some reds there, huh? Oh, you hit the jackpot. That's all right. Are oh, you a wise guy? Hey, you're the guy on TV. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mr. Hero. <laughs> eh? Hero. Oh, oh, no thanks. Just some soup. Oh. <laughs> and dip. So, so you guys need a fifth or what? Turn the chair on. So, uh, what are we playing here? Five card draw. Jack's open nickel race. Gotcha. You're alive. Say what? You owe an ante. How much? Penny. Anybody got change for a nickel? Pass. Not me. I can't open. One penny. Uh, I'm out. Set and down and set. Two and six. Cards. Give me three. Me too. Me too. People, you seem so patient. Yeah, well, I spent a lot of time with my grandparents and all, so I know how old folks think. So, uh, look here, do you have to go home tonight, or can you? Yeah, I gotta go home to my folks. Yeah, right. I would... But maybe tomorrow we <clears throat> could... A word with you, my man? Hold on a minute. Hey, look here, man. I'll catch you later. I'm busy. Ain't gonna be no later, Wardell. <sighs> Excuse me, Denise. Now, what do you want? The cops found the car. So? So where's your hat? What hat? The one you left on the front seat? My hat. Oh, that's where I left it at. I took it off before I got out. Leroy, my name's in that hat, man. Yes, I know it is. Oh, man, they're going to catch me. That's right, blood. And you're going to spill, too. They're going to get you in there, and you're going to say, I didn't do it. Leroy did it. He wired that car. Man, now, wait a minute. What the hell you think I am, huh? Look, I don't care what you are. I'm telling you what you're going to do. Hey, hey, man, what if they searched the car or something? They couldn't have searched the car already. Otherwise, they'd be here right now. Now, you're going to meet me tonight at 11 o'clock. We're going to go down to the lot and get your damn hat out of the car. Are you crazy? What if we get caught or something? You are already caught. I want to make sure I don't get caught. Oh, man. And you better be there, too, Mr. Hero, because you got a lot to lose if you ain't. Eleven. What's wrong? Wrong? Hey, nothing's wrong. Man, how'd I let you talk me into doing this in the first place? It's your hat, man. Shh, well, let's just find the car and get my hat and get out of here. There it is. Where? Oh, man, well, let's go. Come on, man. All right, man, I'm right behind you, man. Let's go. There's my hat. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hurry up, Leroy. I'm hurrying as fast as I can. We'll be out of here in just one minute. OK. OK. 
Good evening, fellas. You just uh, browsing or are you looking to buy? assured the press that he will hold out when informed that his two million dollar a year salary demand is ten times the amount earned by President Carter last year Jones said yeah but I had a better year than he did and finally just to prove that every silver lining has a cloud attached to it Wardell Stone the high school hero who saved a woman from a burning car he was arrested last night attempting to break into a car at a municipal lot it seems that when Stone came upon that woman the other night, he was actually joyriding in a stolen car. In the excitement, he apparently left his hat in the stolen car and was attempting to retrieve it when he was apprehended by the police. The whole sad story came out when his accomplice, Leroy Dunbar, broke down under questioning. Dunbar revealed that Stone had no intention of saving the woman, and in fact, he didn't even know that the car was on fire. Said Dunbar, she was blocking the road and... Uh, he just wanted to get her out of the way. So much for heroes. Back after this. Denise. Whoa, wait a minute, would you? Well, there's something I forgot to tell you yesterday. You and me got to get together because we, because, 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 because we got to. Hey, wait a minute, Mama, would you talk to me? Hey, your Mama, and get your hands off me. Hey, what's the matter? Hey, hey, talk to me a minute. Please, Denise. Listen, I see all these guys around here, and they don't care about anything. They're just jiving along one day to the next. They're going to wind up in the street or something. Or in jail or get killed. Yesterday, I thought maybe you were different. Maybe that was all a front. Maybe you did care about something, huh? But I was wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. You was in it from the beginning and you know it. Man, you think you somebody now, huh, Mr. Hero? Think you better than everybody else. Well, let me tell you something. You ain't nothing but a thief, Wardell, just like me. So I looked at this chick. I said, baby, I don't do that on the first date. You know, if you want to borrow money from me, I got to know you a little better. It's the main man. Hey, Wardell, there's a car burning over on the Brea. They need you right away. Hey, uh, Wardell, how about giving me an autograph? Uh, never mind. Fingerprints will do. <laughs> uh, pulling out, Wardell? I guess you're going to be a responsible member of the community, right? Hey, back off me, all right? Hey, man, I heard the mayor was going to give you an award, Wardell. Uh, convict of the year, was Why, you... Take it easy, take it easy. Don't get excited. Yeah, a lot of good things come down, Wardell. Cheryl Maynard kissed you on TV. Why didn't you have the decency to let your teammates in on the scam? What'd you think, we were going to turn you in? Don't make fools of your friends. It tends to make them think you're a jerk. <laughs> Come on, come on, I'm sick and tired of you guys taking your own sweet time in the locker room. Where'd everybody go? Hey, Stone, what are you doing? Hey, what's up? Huh? Hey, what's going on around here? Hey, man, lay off me, will you? 
Man, just leave me alone. Why, they give you probation? I don't know. I got to go down to the courthouse later on today. What am I supposed to say? I'm sorry you got caught? Hey, don't say nothing. Okay. Hey, what do you know, huh? Yesterday, I'm king of the world. Everybody wants a piece of me. And now nobody likes you. So what's to like? That's right. I mean, what do you do? You blow up toilets, you lie to people, you steal cars. So what's to like? Oh, thank you. A big help. I did like you yesterday. Yeah, why not? I was a hero. No, no. Waddell. I don't care if you're a hero. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, not, oh, yeah, sure. Let me tell you a story. I went to college with a guy named Skipper O'Brien. He was the meanest guy I ever met. Everybody hated his guts. So this guy goes to Vietnam. He saves his patrol from an ambush. He comes back, he's a big hero. You should have seen the TV shows he was on. Parades, medals, the works. You know what? He was still the meanest guy I ever met. And everybody still hated his guts. You know why I liked you yesterday? You helped me carry a box. I mean, it was no big deal, but at least you weren't strutting around like you usually do. That's all it takes to have people like you. You don't have to save somebody. You, you don't understand. Everybody was... I mean, they was treating me like I was something special or something. So great. What do you mean, great? So great, so keep uh, feeling like you're something special or something. How am I going to do that? I don't know. Just uh, keep thinking that you pulled an old lady from a burning car. How's that? Coach, oh, man, you just said that that wasn't important. No, no, Waddell, it's not important for me. But obviously, that's the excuse you needed to start behaving like a decent human being. People paid you a little attention, uh, so you responded. So keep responding. I like you. Coach, that doesn't make sense. Well, that's the best I can do. Well, let's go. It's time for practice. Your life. Shoulders forward and shoulders. Right, left, right, left. Good. Right. Put that right boat shoulder forward. And right. Good. Right. Hey, Denise. Right. Hello, Wardell. And right, left, right. Well, you sure got okay. some fine-looking dancers here. Try it on your own now. And that ain't all this fine-looking. A little bit slower now. Uh-huh. That's right. Good. Well, I was wondering if, if afterwards maybe you and me could uh, get together and, and uh, study or something. Sorry, Wardell. You know, well, maybe if you give me another chance, Denise, maybe I... time for no games. You got time for going to jail? What? We heard you're an escaped convict. Oh, yeah? Where'd you hear that at? Behavior. Uh-huh. Well, ain't you scared I might mug you or something? Sonny, you couldn't hurt a flea. <laughs> oh, no? No. What did you say your name was, big guy? What else? Oh, Dan. Yeah. Well, then, well, then, uh, are you sure you don't want to play? Yeah, sure. Why not? So, uh, what are we playing here? No peak baseball. What? No peak baseball. No peak baseball? I thought we was playing poker here. We are playing poker. Nines are wild, and for every four, you get another card. That's not no poker. You telling us how to play poker? You damn straight. Listen to this guy. Hey, well, in that case, why don't we play Go Fish? How do you play it? You know what your problem is, Waddell? You're narrow-minded. You're old-fashioned. You gotta keep on top of things. You, you gotta change with the times. Yeah, well, Thorpe will guard himself. Help on the outside. 
Let's go. Hey, look who's here. Stone in for Mitchell. Mitchell, come in. Let's go. <laughs> hey, man, watch out. Hey, man, you watch out. Hey, look, man, get your hands off. Hey, man, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, little sucker. Oh, you can't shut up. You ain't gonna show nothing. I don't want to hear it. Over your head. Hey, I don't on. care, man. Come on, I'll Chuck. smack you come inside on. your head. Hey, Cole, let's put him down. Put your hands off. Coolidge, what are you hey, doing? I'm rescuing him, coach. From what? From me. it like to be a giant among mortal men? Hey, I can take Jabbar, I can take Malone, I can take Reeves. You just grew an inch, one lousy inch. What's the big deal? I don't know. You tell me. Cool, you're so big that even when you're down, you're up. King Kong has feelings. Even Frankenstein has feelings. Why doesn't Warren Coolidge have feelings? Warren Coolidge, Bill Russell. All right. I'm not serious. All right. All right. Cool, why don't you bother somebody your own size, man? Ain't nobody my size. Then they shrunk them. Look at these things. I can't go no job wearing this. Well, wear your green and black ones. They're your favorites, aren't they? Yeah, for kicking it up, not for trying to get a job. Well, pull them down. Pull them down. Nobody will notice the difference. It's not working. Well, don't blame me. I'm not the one who's doing all the growing. Have you forgot how to use a glass? I didn't want to call you to work, Mama. All right. Let me give you the setup we've got going here. Disco, dinner, drinks. Three separate areas. A guy wants to hawk a chick, let him do it here. Chick wants a bite to eat, fine. As long as it's done at a table. Chick's hot to try. That's cool. As long as there's no rough and tumble. I'm running a class act here, and I want to keep it that way. You got any problems? Larry's at the door. All right. You're all 21, aren't you? All right. Be here tomorrow at 7.30 sharp. And remember, black shoes and ties. Quasimodo, I presume. It's not funny, Sybil. What is it now? The knee again? It's my back. 
Yeah, you really are in bad shape, aren't you? Kind of falling apart versus the knee, then it's the back. What do you uh, want to see the school nurse or will a simple purple heart do? Uh, no, uh, every uh, physician in the country has looked at this body. Oh, yes, well, I bet they have. <laughs> yeah, well, what is a nurse going to uh, know about what to do for me? A nurse in high school? Well, she could give you a note excusing you from PE. Oh, that's swell. Well, you know, if you'd seen a nurse when you were in high school, you might not be in such bad shape now. If I were you, I wouldn't talk about shape. Oh, <laughs> you know? but I've had twins. You can't use that excuse. I don't need an excuse. I need a new bed. What's wrong with the old one? Well, it's too soft. So yeah, the I... company been complaining, huh? You always do that. Yeah, I know. Oh, here's hey, a million in the mouth. Oh, 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 down. You guys would be disappointed to know that today is not about uh, sex, it's about hygiene. Mm. Hi, who? Health, man, is in cleanliness, is next to godliness, et cetera, et cetera. In that case, you guys are in a lot of trouble in the hereafter. Hygiene. How many of you guys shower every day? He said day, Monroe, not month. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself, sir. Hey, he's speaking for the whole class. You do smell kind of funky. <laughs> <laughs> enough, oh, enough. Yeah. All right, Coolidge, Coolidge. The bottom line in grooming is that you should bathe every day, brush your teeth twice a day, keep your clothes clean. Hey, St your mom is a clean lady, right, Stone? Yeah. Yeah, well, why don't you send over to Salam's house and have his teeth cleaned? <laughs> <laughs> and while you at it, bring some comments. Oh. <laughs> my breath. <laughs> Something wrong with my breath? Oh, yeah, hunting season's over. <laughs> Coolidge, enough uh, with the put downs. Look, this just has to do with having respect for your body. It's the only one you got, so you ought to take care of it, right? What is it, Salami? The coach is uh, bad breath hereditary. <laughs> No, come on, I'm serious, I'm serious. I mean, uh, my father's got it, my mother's got it. Nikki's been, Nikki's been living with us for a year, now he's got it. I mean, even the dog's got it. I'm telling you, it's spooky. I mean, it's like there's a curse on the whole house or something. Hey, Salami, why don't you go out and buy yourself a tube of toothpaste and put it around your neck? It'll kind of ward off the evil spirit. Stop, <laughs> stop. Simmer down, will you please? I know it's hard for you to act like a human being, but try, it'll be like a new experience. A salami, in answer to your question, uh, no bad breath is not hereditary, but unfortunately, intelligence is. You're out, Mitchell and for Thorpe and Franklin. You take over for Coolidge. Oh, come on, coach. What's the matter? Only got 26 points. I haven't broke 30 all year long. Yeah, leave hey. him in, coach. I only been bragging about this for the last 10 months. Well, all right, all right. Christmas comes twice this year for you, Coolidge. Uh, all right. Put in for Fallahay, all right? Let's go. Right. Get Get go. Get go. Get go. Get go. Get go.
Lakers, the dominant force in basketball in the metropolitan area. That's right, Howard, the greatest of all times. The greatest of all times. So tell me, Big Warren, what's it like to be a giant among mortal men? Hey, I can take Jabbar, I can take Malone, I can take Reeves. Where's Reeves? I want Reeves. I want the white whale. Come here, Reeves, I want you, yes. I can take him anytime, anywhere. Where are you? Come here, Reeves. You heard it here, folks. The challenge of the century, the battle of the sexes, the ultimate confrontation. Hold me back. I can't take it. Hold me back. Coolidge, you're not Ali, but you had a great game tonight. That's a way to take advantage of your height and weight. Well, I'm a giant among men. What can I say? I'm a giant so among... tell us, Big One, what are your future plans? The party. <laughs> Is that to celebrate uh, our record-breaking one-game winning streak? Hey, well, I party after the games we win. And I party after the games we lose. And I party after the games we don't even play. <laughs> Dan says I blame you. That's a great game. I'm the right? best. Right. I'm the greatest. Cool. I, I want you. Oh, Idea. I don't feel much like dancing tonight. Just stand up and get down. There's nothing to it but to do it. Debbie, I don't even know anyone here. Just look around, honey. This place is crawling with boys who'd like to know you. Believe me, if I had what you had, I'd flaunt it. Custom built. Ooh, to the victors go the spoils. Yeah, well, I intend to be good and spoiled. <laughs> uh, trust me, Thorpe, that's more woman than you can have. Cool, that woman ain't been born yet. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, where's the bed? I'm on to yours over there. Oh, yeah, help yourself, bro. Hi, right, I'm Warren. Wow. Especially at the end. Yeah, well, you should have seen us last year when we won the city championship. Well, all the guys are gone, but I think we'll still do okay. <laughs> you want to dance? Sudden we was dancing and uh next thing you know she splits. Yeah, well that's no surprise. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, cool. I mean, figure it out for yourself, man. If you were a girl, would you go out with you? <laughs> she looked like a toy next to you, man. <laughs> so what I'm going out with short girls before, what's the big deal? The big deal is on the court you're a basketball player, man, but off the court you're just another gigantor. <laughs> against the wall so there's more room to dance? What well, you say, cool? Why don't you take care of it, man? What? What do I look like? Acme Moving Company? Come on, you guys. Lend him a hand. Well, never let a boy do a man's job. Nope. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> My back. 
Yeah, I sprained my back. It must have happened when I moved that dumb couch. But an hour later, blood, you was dancing again. Yeah, well, these back injuries take time, man. I gotta, can't take no chances. You been to the doctor? Yeah, well, I gotta go this afternoon after lunch. You may have to give me a brace. <laughs> the only thing you need is a head brace, man. There's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> nothing more than usual, anyway. Nope, and there ain't no cure for ugly, so don't bother worrying about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad to see you guys enjoy kicking the man when he's down. Cool, it's just so big that even when you're down, you're up. <laughs> yeah, well, just keep laughing, because if this turns out to be serious, y'all won't be laughing if you have to play with a six-foot center. Yeah, he's serious. He's always serious. Last year, he even thought he had malaria once. <laughs> he's just hustling that sympathy vote, huh? Just looking for attention, that's all. Yeah, well, I think we ought to make him feel as comfortable as possible, being that he's in such pain yeah. and all. Coach Blazarian, uh, I was wondering if you could help me out with something. Yeah, what's that? Well, you see, it's my free period, you know, and I was shooting baskets outside, and uh, these big dudes came up and kicked me off the court, and I was hoping you could tell them to get lost. Yeah, well, why don't you tell them yourself? Well, there's two of them, and uh, I thought with you it might even up the odds. Yeah? Yeah, well, you know, being that there's two of them, and uh, you've got a pretty good reputation for being tough. Yeah, well, I do pride myself in being in shape. Let's see what we can do. Hey, what's going on? I gotta go see the nurse. Don't worry about the nurse, cool. Just sit down. We figured out a way so you won't need crutches. Man. <laughs> Why, you all robbers now? Well, in a manner of speaking. See, we're concerned about the fact that your basketball playing days might be over. Sure, I mean, it happens all the time. Everything's going great, then all of a sudden, bam, bam, bam. Color your career over. Just like Bird Fidrich, one day you're a star, the next you're a trivia question. Sure, happened to Herb Score and Tony Canigliero. They both got hit in the eye. Smack. Game was over. But don't worry, cool. We're gonna be looking out for you. Oh, I bet. Yeah, anyway, cool, man. There's lots of things a big man can do anyway besides playing basketball. Shoot, you could, uh, pick grapefruits or oranges or something. <laughs> you know, you could reach higher than anybody. You could be king of the fruit pickers. <laughs> you could even be a weather reporter, man. You know when it's raining long before any of us do. <laughs> and just to make sure you can still walk. Hey, Salami, you got it, man? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? It's a corset, Dumbo. Sympathies from Coach Bilzerian. <laughs> <laughs> Better get you <laughs> Come on, come on, Thorpe. You gotta play him honest. If he's gonna bust back like that, use another option. Let's run that again. That's a little carry. Well, at least you pulled up. What, nobody oh, rebounds for me? On. What's the matter with you guys? Come on. Keep running now. We need to work on it. Cool it. You're late. Why don't you dress for practice? It's my back, Coach. Your back? What's the matter with it? You been to the nurse? Well, yeah, but she said there was nothing wrong. Can you touch your toes, Cooley? Problem. Touch your toes. Cooley. Can you touch your toes? You're a hypochondriac, Cooley. Let's get dressed for practice. I want a second opinion about my back. You just got it. I gave it to you. You're fine. Well, Coach, when a guy my size grows, he can get hurt. I mean, I gotta take care of myself. Oh? But what will I do if I can't play basketball? You could work, like everybody else. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done. You know people get scared of tall guys. Coolidge, you just grew an inch. One lousy inch. What's the big deal? I don't know. You tell me. Come on, come on. Somebody shoot. Cheer me up. Hey, Roberta. Wait up, I'll walk with you. I'm sorry, Warren, I have to get home. So I'll walk you there. Aren't you supposed to be in basketball practice? Yeah, well, I sprained my back, so I gotta take it easy for a while. So, what are you gonna be doing later? I'm busy, I have a lot of homework. Well, then maybe we could get together and study. I really don't think so, Warren. Well, then some other night then. No. 
What's with you? You've been treating me like some kind of freak. I just don't want to go out with you is all. Oh, you just must think you're real special that you can just go around and hurt people's feelings. I hurt your feelings? Yeah, is that so hard to believe? I know I'm 6'9", but I didn't exactly plan it that way, you know? King Kong has feelings. Even Frankenstein has feelings. Why doesn't Warren Coolidge have feelings? Warren, you've got it wrong. That's oh, not the sure. way... Oh, sure. It's fine as long as you stay where you belong on the basketball court, right? Then you're a star. But just let the game be over. Then what am I supposed to do? Disappear? Please, Warren, you don't understand. Sure I do, Roberta. I understand just fine. Here we are, Chateau Lasset de Lac, 1979. Excellent. It's Harry's birthday, you know. Oh, really? Happy birthday, Harry. 50 years old. You know what they always say, the game's bet at the 50-yard line. Mm. Let's go here. That's very good. We'd like you to sing happy birthday to Harry. Uh, well, it's gonna take a minute to get the waiters together, uh, because we always sing together. Oh, well, that's all right. You sing it by yourself. <laughs> no, I couldn't. Oh, yes, you could for Harry. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> well, I don't sing alone. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, really, I don't. Sure, sure you could. Come on. <laughs> sing it, sing it. She won't shut up till you do. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Harry? Harry. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Sick, he had to leave. So, what, you want me to play bouncer? Yeah, you're the biggest guy in the place. Yeah, but what about my station? Don't worry about your tables. Howard will take care of it. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait a minute. You hired me as a waiter. I don't want to work as no bouncer. Hey, don't worry. A guy your size, no one's going to start any trouble with you. Yeah, yeah, but I just don't want it. All right, all right. I'll give you some more money. It's not about the money. I just don't want to do it. There's no choice. You either work the door or you walk. I walk. Keep looking for the open man. That's it. Take your time with it. All right, that's a good bound. What do you know? If it isn't the mountain, come to Mohammed. You ready to play now, Coolidge? I'm ready to play. Sure now. I mean, you don't have measles, a mumps, a chicken pox, dizziness, blurred vision, ingrown toenail, something, fainting spells. I said I'm ready to play. Oh. Everybody hear that? Coolidge is now ready to play with us. You sure you're gonna be ready for the next game, Tremont? Oh, come on. Uh, let's get something straight, Coolidge. If you bring me a death certificate, then you are excused from practice. Otherwise, you will be here when we are here. You will practice when we practice. You got that? Got it. Good, he's got it. All right, we're gonna work in a full court press now. Coolidge, you're in for Mitchell, helping Thorpe bring the ball up against the skins. Oh, uh, wait a minute, there must be a mistake. Oh? Yeah, see, I'm Warren Coolidge, you know. I play center, not guard. Coolidge, you play where I say when I tell you to play there, all right? Your ball handling needs a lot of work. Let's go. Throw up inbounds at the Coolidge. Skins on D. Work your press. Let's go. Let's go. Let's try it again. Big Warren, try it one more time. See, Coolidge, you want to get down low, man. Protect the ball, you know? Oh, yeah, I don't need any help from you. You need all the help you can get, Coolidge. 
Yeah, you're too big to dribble, cool. I mean, by the time the ball gets all the way down the floor and then bounces up again, game could be over. <laughs> and fellas, I'm surprised the ball just don't splat all over the place being dropped from that high. And maybe we ought to get a little parachute or something. <laughs> Hold, it. You know Hold this. Watch this. See? It bounces. Every time you drop it, it bounces right back to you. Take my word for it. That's why you don't have to keep watching it. You gotta know where the ball is and feel it so you can concentrate on where you're going. Got it? Yeah. You get to take the ball out again. Give me back my flipboard. Let's go. Let me know. Hey, you better watch out, though. Cool looks pretty good out there. I think he's after your job. Oh, if I tell you I'm worried. I'm really worried. You see, it's those quick hands of his. See, that's our secret weapon. We let Kool-Aid bring the ball up, and we bore the other team to death. <laughs> yeah, we foul play a whole other game in between his dribbles. Oh, you want to see dribbling, Vitaly? I'll show you dribbling. Oh, wait a minute, I was only kidding. I'm not serious. Oh, hey, hey. Cool, why don't you bother somebody your own size, man? I mean, Ain't nobody my size. I was only kidding, uh, Billy. Hey, uh, come on, Cool, lighten up. Um, I was only kidding, I swear. Come on, buddy. <sighs> dope. The way you come out now, Thor. You crazy? Thank you. You know, uh, Coolidge, you could have broken something that needed fixing anyway. I mean, I realize it's only a rim. You didn't break the backboard. Then again, this is uh, a wooden backboard. I might remind you, your hero, Daryl Dawkins, never even broke a wooden backboard. Ned, you know, you could have torn up the rub-down tables, uh, Coolidge. We could use some new rub-down tables. There's always the parallel bars. They're shot. I've been trying to get parallel bars for a couple of years. You and I could even go into business. You could be the uh, local hitman on rotten equipment. You know, one day uh, you bust up a whirlpool, the next day a treadmill. What's the matter, Coach? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Well, something's wrong. Well, I don't want to talk about it. You wouldn't understand. Oh? Suddenly now you can only relate to rims? I mean, I realize you and this rim had an interesting conversation yesterday. It must have been something it said. Yeah, well, I'll work it out. Well, you're not doing so well so far. You do the rest of this tomorrow. Now, listen, you're coming downtown with me. I, uh, hold this. I gotta buy a bed. You can help me get it home. And, uh, next time, you're gonna have to learn to work against real pressure. I don't mean just, uh, salami. What's wrong with salami? What did you do in the NBA? Well, well, I didn't do any of this around the back and between the leg stuff. Because you couldn't. This is it. This isn't gonna take long. Please, look at this. Is this one of them? Yeah, see that? I've always been curious about these things. Yeah, well, I hope your girlfriend don't get seasick. Hi, how's it feel? Oh, uh, soft. Well, you can add more water and make it as hard as a firm mattress. Is that right? But a lot of doctors feel water beds are healthier for you. They distribute your weight more evenly. In fact, one out of every ten Californians sleeps on a waterbed. I bet those are loose figures. Actually, most people who own them would never sleep on anything else. They're heated, too. Very soothing. Yeah, I'll bet. It feels sort of awkward, though. Yeah, especially for two people. How do you, uh... I mean, um... <clears throat> Practice. Yeah. But if that's one of your concerns, maybe you'd be interested in this model. Oh, yes. Uh, this looks uh, traditional, while at the same time being modern. Hey, hey. Check this out, Coach. Coolidge. Out. Huh? Out. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, well, this sort of feels like the... Uh-huh. Uh, do you have anything a little more conservative? How about a bookshelf headboard? Or maybe a pedestal with drawers. Do you have a bed that's just like a bed? Not in stock. But I guess we could get one for you. Yeah, well, maybe I ought to measure my room just to make sure it fits. 
Uh, thanks for taking the time. You know, sometimes the only place I can be comfortable is the gym. Yeah? Yeah, and I'm sorry about the rim. Well, you always hurt the ones you love, you know? Yeah, well, it all started when I found out about growing. I thought 6 eight was as big as I'd get. Why don't you jump the dryer and see if you shrink? <laughs> you really don't know what it's like to be tall, do you? What am I, a pygmy? You're only a few inches taller than me, you know. Yeah, well, those few inches put a whole different perspective on things. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I mean, people are always staring at me. I don't see anybody looking at you. And my size is always getting in my way. I mean, with clothes and with girls. Huh? And yesterday in practice, when I felt like a fool doing a small man's job oh, and dribbling. No, no, no. That is for your own good. Believe me. Now, you're not that big, Coolidge. I mean, I know you stand out in high school, but if you ever make it to the pros, you'll find yourself fighting for a job as a forward. And forwards have to be able to handle a ball. You know, Coach Wooden at UCLA used to make sure that all of those guys could bring up the ball under pressure. Of course, UCLA, it's a game of quickness, sir. Uh, oh, nobody's quite as... Uh, wait a minute now, I mean... Are we talking speed, or are we just talking... Uh... <laughs> if I had Coolidge, a little extra calcium never hurt a six-foot-nine growing center. Go ahead. You know, I feel like that guy in the movie that just keeps growing and growing until he gets bigger than the building. Relax, will you, Coolidge? Cool? Another 40, 50 years, you'll start to shrink. Happens to everybody. Right. In the meantime, I'm a freak putting on a show for these fans. Will you stop it, Coolidge? Cool? You're the only one who feels that way. You know, a lot of guys are jealous about your height. Since you can't do anything about it, why don't you stop worrying about it? I can't believe you finished that already. Tom, another? Cost you 20 laps. And chocolate? Sure. What, you want sprinkles, too? Ah, oh, gee. Hey, what's up, Spike? Hi, stranger. It's been a long time. Yeah, Bill, I'm glad you could make it. Jeez, I thought I was going to starve to death in this place. You look like you could live off of the hump for a while. Well, you still using the elbow, huh? Nah, it's just a touch of bursitis. It's not as serious as it looks. That's the beginning of the end, Ken. The beginning of the end. Been waiting long? Oh, no. I've just been through two plates of these carrot sticks. My nose is beginning to twitch. Where'd you find this place, anyway? Elgin turned me on to Oh, me. Baylor, after all the trouble you gave in the NBA and all those uh, final playoffs. Hey, Stuff's health is good for you. <laughs> I'm going to have the uh, guacamole chef salad. Okay. And the mushroom omelet number 12. Great. You've obviously been here before. Can I just uh, get a cheeseburger, you know, fries? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We don't serve red meat. Why don't you try one of our specials? I'm sure you'll like it. Our soup today is lentil. Lentil? No. How about the, the, this Western thing with the sour cream and the eggs from uh, ground-scratching chickens? Also a small loaf of your stone ground bread. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So what are you doing in L.A.? Oh, I had to see my business manager. Good man. If you want, I'll set up an appointment for you. Oh, well, no, I've sort of consolidated my financial position these days. Ah, uh, you keep him busy, I see. Yeah, you know, I'm traveling more now than I did when I was with the Celtics. Oh. You know, with the book and everything. Uh, how's your knee? That's all right. It's fine as long as it gets me where I want to go in the morning. And, uh, yourself? Yeah, the usual aches and pains, you know. Uh, Thirteen years in the NBA and, um, the old bar kind of reacts to that. Tell me something. Could you come by to school for just a couple of minutes one day? I need a favor. For what? Well, there's this kid playing for me named Coolidge. He's a great kid, but he's got a thing about his height. He's big. He's already over 6'8". Well, you're a big guy. You can talk to him. I have, but I'm only 6'6". It's not the same thing as coming from a guy 6'9". I've got to bring out the big guns for this one. I'd love to, Ken, but, uh... But? But what? 
But my schedule's jammed. I seem to remember a certain summer league uh, 13 years ago and a certain teammate who lost a bet about my ability to shoot from the baseline. Uh-huh. 50 big ones. And uh, since payment was never rendered, I figure that comes now, considering the interest rate, uh, compounded annually to about, let's see. That comes to one practice at a high school of your choice. Tomorrow at 3.30, and I hope you're not as slow as you look. <laughs> All right, it's one to one. This one decides it. Yeah, when it takes all. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 All right, now look. Remember, man, with Sylvester Stallone, now Apollo Creed, we work better inside. No, no, I ain't going inside. It keeps spitting in my eye. Hey, you yeah. can go by the sneakers, I'll take his arms. When I say buck, boss, quit spurring me in the so sides when we get in close, all right? Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Hey, you sidestepped him. He sidestepped me. Yeah, well, come on, let's get in there and butt a couple of heads, man. Yeah! 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 Right, come on, you ready to dig in there, right? Look, just here we go. Something. Get off of me, man. Get off. <laughs> hey, when it comes to pizza, my man's an animal. Uh, we want a rematch, man. Rematch. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, rematch. You know rematch. I mean? Hey, cool. I'm late. Hey, come here a minute, man, for one second. Come here. <clears throat> what, Thor? Uh, I just wanted to see what the top of your head looked like. <laughs> <laughs> What's eating him? Somebody ought to talk to him, because he's going to be a real drag to be with. <laughs> hey, let me see the ball, man. I want to see what it feels like to dunk. Come on, Swan. <laughs> and here he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Put him in. <laughs> Hi, Warren. Hi. Mind if I sit down? Free step. Melissa Clay's given a party this weekend. Her parties are always the best. Will you be going, Warren? I don't know. I don't know if I'll go either. I haven't been in a party frame of mind lately. That could change by Saturday, couldn't it? What's the difference? I'd go if I knew you were going to be there, or if you wanted to take me. Let me get something straight, Roberta. I know how you feel. And I guess I should be flattered, but I'm not interested. Warren. Just seems to me a date out of charity just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. So I get Salami's car, I come by your place, pick you up, we go to the party. Hey, cool. What? I'll see you later on. How goes it, bro? It goes. Saw you and Roberta outside having a little heart to heart, man. You gaining ground or what? Pass, she's not my type. Well, then you must be either gay or dead, because she is not a type, bro. She's one of a kind. Hey, just keep walking, Thor. Hey, what's wrong with you, man? Nothing's wrong with me. No, you're just snarling and growling and acting like a bear who ain't been fed for a year. Hey, uh, listen, man, Reeves wanted to talk to you. Yeah, well, I'll see him in practice. <laughs> well, I get the impression that he wanted to see you, like, now. You want to see me, Coach? Uh, yeah, Coolidge. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, uh, Warren Coolidge, Bill Russell. Hi. Right. This is Warren, our center. All right, let's go. Listen, hold it just a minute, listen. The instincts were good. You were just too impatient. You were in too much of a hurry. Now, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll, I'll run the play from here, okay? All right. Now, just remember, Warren, you're in charge when you got the ball here. Don't be afraid to hold on to it. It's not a stick of dynamite. It's not going to go off in your hand. Hold on to it. Take your time. Look around. Use all your options, okay? I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, let's run that same play again. Let's go! Let's go, Warren, please. Got it. Come 
Now, although he dropped the ball, that play will work. Warren, you come back out and play the center. Now, you guys, listen, guards have options too, okay? Now, let me take this position here, and uh, let's run that same play. Ourselves. That's a great workout. Oh, come on, coach. Hey, hey, I want to wear you guys out before the season's over. Uh, it's a great workout, guys. All right. All right. Thanks, Bill. Hey, what was it like playing against Lord Chamberlain? I mean, my father still talks about those games. It wasn't a big thing. Yeah, it's too bad you never got a chance to play against Kareem. No, no. It's too bad he didn't get a chance to play against me. <laughs> I read somewhere that you were voted the greatest basketball player of all time. Well, no one, the 11 championships in 13 years. Well, that's because I had some good teammates now. There, I had Havlicek and Kuzi, the Jones boys. Oh, those guys were good. Hey, can I get your autograph? I don't sign autographs, young man. Well, how come? I just don't believe in it. But for you, I got some old sweat socks. I'll be <laughs> What was the secret to your success? I mean, 11 championships in 13 years. Hard work with intelligence. It must have been great to travel with the NBA. I mean, all those cities. All those foxes. Hey, Bill, which city had the prettiest girls? Well, I think L.A. had a slight edge, but New York sometimes a year. <laughs> <laughs> and, Bill, you once got 51 rebounds in the game, man. 51? I mean, how'd you do that? It's a lot of bad shooting that night. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Bill, did you do any special training, like, to get your legs in shape or what? No, I had to run a lot. Just run a lot. Do you, do you miss playing in Boston? No. <laughs> hey, Bill, is it true that the ladies hang around after the game and wait for the guys to finish getting dressed? Hey, I heard they don't even wait around till they get dressed. See, that'd be a waste of time. <laughs> it's not like that. Police, where are you going? Grab a shower while the water's still hot. Stick around, will you? Come on, I told you. What do you think? It's every day Bill Russell drops by to give you a point. You're going to catch him again on the very next blue moon? Hey, Bill, why'd you come here anyway? Well, you might say your coach and I had a little bet. Did you win or lose? He lost. I won. He lies a lot, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Warren, heads up. Not a bad pass. Not a bad catch. Hey, you want to go out and shoot a couple? I don't know if I should. Why not? You in a hurry to get home and grow some more or something? Hey, listen. Let me see that. You think you can guard me? Sure, are you kidding? You ready to so, huh? Let's see. Come on. Well, do what you, you, got... you want me to go around you? Well, you can. What do you mean? Look. Be careful now. Be careful. I can go around you. Okay, now. Okay, you did. Be careful. Come on. I'm just... Come on, man. Just be pushing on me. See me dribble. Now you dribble, you gotta use these two fingers and the thumb. And just, just your fingertips, you know? You see, just dribble, it'll come back, just like that. You don't have to look at it, see? Just, it'll come back, just use those, right there. Okay, now you try it. Now get your head up, you don't have to look at it. Just remember, it'll just put it, when you put the ball down, it'll come up. That's right, that's right, keep your head up. Now you got to flex your knees a little bit, see? When you dribble. Now keep your head up. Now here's what I want you to do. Dribble, two dribbles, and then go to the hoop. Okay? All right. See, nothing to it. Yeah, see, I got a lot of work to do. Foul! Yeah, 
That's hard to explain, man. It bugs me, and I don't even know why. You're scared? Yeah, I guess I am. Hey, listen, we're all scared. When you're a big guy, people expect big things of you. And anything less than wonderful, and they're, they're disappointed with you. Yeah, that's it. That's it exactly. We've all been through it. Yeah, but I bet you see it in the pros, right? For some guys, but you still get the same stupid jokes. How's the, the weather, weather up there? there? Yeah. Daddy long legs, the whole bit. And I feel like I'm standing in a hole next to you. Well, how do you feel about your height? I love it. Yes, listen, there are a lot of advantages to being tall. For one thing, nobody can ignore you. Yeah. Well, I wish I was in the pros right now. A lot of guys there are having just a harder time with it as you're having here. Not really. Listen, one of the best players in the league used to hide in the restroom at the airports because he couldn't deal with people staring at him in the lounge. <laughs> That's pretty weird. Hey, you do the best you can, you know. Hey, listen, I'm gonna have to get back to Seattle. I'm gonna have to go. Bill, I appreciate you talking to me, man. I mean, it means a lot, and I just wanna say thank you. Anytime, Warren. You gonna be all right? Yeah, you kidding? Sure. All right, well, you take care and keep in touch. All right, man, thank you. How'd you make out? Oh, I think he's gonna be okay. Just needed to know that he wasn't alone, that's all. What'd you tell him? I filled him in on all the secrets. Oh, like what? Can't tell you, Ken. Why not? You're not tall enough. Hi. Hi. I guess I gave you a rough time. I apologize. I'm the one who should apologize. How do you figure? I've always been well built. Everywhere we've lived, I've had boys interested in me, but not me really, in the way I looked. Well, it's just not nothing you can ignore. Any more than someone can ignore your height? Well, do you know that most women would kill to have your body? Come to think of it, so would most men. <laughs> <laughs> women are crazy. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Nuts, you know, playing without a full deck. Flat chested girls wish they were bigger, and bigger girls wish they were smaller. And blondes want to be brunettes, just never satisfied. Oh, and guys are so much wiser, is that it? <laughs> you're afraid you're too tall. Thorpe thinks he's too short. One guy wishes he didn't have to wear glasses. Another thinks he'd look more distinguished in them. <laughs> yeah, you guys are really together, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we going to do? I mean, I don't think there's much chance of me getting smaller. <laughs> me either. <laughs> Melissa's party. Eight o'clock? <laughs> Guess we're stuck with each other. Who else would have us? Anyone who appreciates quality. Oh, for where do you see this new chick, man? She yeah. is bad. I'm giving Denise a rest of yeah. me. Shut up, Italian. I'm I'm not not sure. Keep it out of here for my kid. I want to see more broads for another three, four days. <laughs> At least. Hey, man, you're going to die. I might. Uh, oh, man, that's it. That's it, man. I don't need this aggravation. Stone, what is wrong with you? Hey, man, it's them doggone pipes again. I stay dry in the shower than I do here in the locker room. Just look at it as a free cream rinse. Free cream rinse. And what I need is a bucket or one of cool sneakers to do. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? I just happen to have a pair around. There you go, sugar. <laughs> 